The road planning designs, decisions and legal framework should be held accountable for all the cyclists and pedestrians deaths in the country. According to Samburu West Member of Parliament, Naisula Lesuda, more than 13,000 cyclists and pedestrians lose their lives each year due to poor designated paths for their use, as Robert Ouma reports. Samburu West Member of Parliament, Naisula Lesuda, says that I quote, it is unfortunate how blatant discrimination on the roads against some of our road users is fully supported by our laws. End of quote. This is done by construction of perfect road for vehicles and neglecting the vulnerable road users. When you do a road, please include somewhere I can walk and also include somewhere I can cycle to work. So that it's just, it should just be normal. When we are designing our roads as a country, both at the county levels and, and even here in... It's just now that we, we are seeing sidewalks being done by the Nairobi Metropolitan, the Cabro, you just see. But as I said, they just end abruptly. Then you don't know where you're going next. You go in, into a road. In the bill, she proposed to the National Assembly six to prioritize non-motorized transport system and boosting climate change mitigation under the Climate Change Action Plan on having a green economy. Why build roads for cars only while the majority of Kenyans do not own vehicles or afford public transport costs? We have been blinded from seeing injustice, perhaps due to privilege, our socialization, attitude and lack of prioritization. She further added that Kenya is on the verge of losing many citizens if the government fails to achieve an inclusive road system which caters for all road users since commuting for pedestrians and cyclists is a matter of life and death. Respect us, uh, share the road. It just takes one second to just move and give us 1.5 meters away and overtake us safely so that all of us can get back home. Robert, Oma, Switch TV News.